Hello everyone, today we are gonna be taking a look inside my day pack and seeing what I bring with me on all my day hikes. <laughs> comments from time to time from people asking me what they should bring in their day packs like if they're just going out for a day hike or whatnot and I've never really had an answer because it's really just kind of like whatever you feel like is necessary for you to make it through that hike so I figured just for like a little bit of insight a starting point I would show you guys what's in my day pack First off, I have a North Face backpack. I've had this backpack since I was in college. I got it for free when I was a Rogam, which if y'all know what that is, props to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain it because that's not my type of channel. But yeah, I've had this backpack forever. It's a nice little day pack. It's just really like a normal backpack essentially, but it's North Face brand. So let's start with like the outside stuff on the back. So I have a little microfiber towel that I bring with me. I do live in South Florida, so it does get very hot. <laughs> so I bring this mostly for sweat on my forehead. Um, if my camera gets wet or something, I can wipe it off with this. So I, this just hangs off the little loop on the top and I just kind of like swing it around, wipe my face off and that's that. Um, right now I have attached my Gossamer Gear phone pocket. Um, I do like the Chicken Tramper one better. If y'all watch my Appalachian Trail vlogs, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. But this one, the only preference I have to this one is that the zipper is a lot easier, like one-handed to open versus like the Chicken Tramper one, you really gotta use two hands to open it. So that's kind of a little annoying, but the Chicken Tramper one is more waterproof than this in my opinion. Um, not that I've ever had water get through this one. It's just the material that it's made out of. I don't know why. Um, the Chicken Tramper one is also bigger, so yeah. Anywho, <laughs> moving on. So in this pocket, I typically will keep my phone in here and that's usually all that fits in this pocket. Um, and then the front mesh, I usually keep my camera that I am filming with. So this is the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. I have been using this camera on a lot of my hikes and a lot of my runs because it's easy. It has a little strap for my hand um, and it's just a lot better with stabilization than my other camera. So typically most of the shots I'll get is with this guy. So I keep it right in the front pocket so it's easy to grab out. Sometimes I do have it hanging from my wrist but for the most part it stays in this pocket. So that's kind of the back side. Um, on one of the side pockets, it does have two mesh pockets. I keep my other camera. So I do bring both cameras with me just in case battery dies or I wanna get like a time lapse. This is better for time lapse in my opinion. I keep it on my Joby Gorillapod. This is the Mark II. Um, most vloggers, if you've seen anyone on YouTube, has this camera, um, pretty lightweight camera for vlogging. So I do bring this with me as well. And then also in this pocket, I just have a few snacks. So I have Honey Stinger and a Nutri-Grain bar just in case I get hungry while I'm out there. Sometimes with filming, the hikes take a little bit longer than expected. So I like to bring snacks with me just in case. On the front side, I just have a little thing of hand sanitizer. You never know when you're gonna need it. And then on the other side, I typically carry a water bottle. This is usually the one I carry. It's a Camelback one. It, it's like one of those like sports ones. If you were in sports in high school, you know what I'm talking about, it like sprays out. Like you can just squeeze it and it sprays out like the Gatorade bottles. Um, so I like that. So you typically keep that in the other side. So I have water down here. I'll fill that bad boy up with tons of ice, tons of water. I typically will bring a second water bottle with me and just keep it on the inside just in case I do go through all that. Cause again, I do live in South Florida and it is very hot. But let's go into the front pocket here. There's like a, I don't know, front pocket. So obviously we have feminine products, you know. Um, right now in here, I have two maps. This is from my most recent hike. I went to the SWA Greenway Trail System. So if y'all didn't see that video, I'll link it for you guys down below. 
but it just has like the map of the park. I've been on this trail so many times that I didn't need it, but I like to collect them. So I grabbed one from when I was there. I also have this map. And I think I've mentioned this map before in a video where I found this map at one of the parks that I went to and it just has all these trails. Well, first of all, it has tons of information about the wildlife um, in South Florida, but it has this whole thing that flips out and it has tons of trails in South Florida. So my goal is to try to get to all of them and bring you guys with me. So I keep this map in there just in case I decide I wanna go on like a second hike that day. Um, or if I want like the trail that I go to is closed, I have something to look up as a backup. Yes, I know all trails does exist and I can go on there, but you know, sometimes the good old paper map is what you need. Other than that, in this front pocket, I don't carry much. I do have an extra battery for my camera and I have a chapstick because if you know, you know, when your lips get chapped out on trail, it sucks. So that's all I keep in this front pocket. Let's go into the big pockets. So the big daddy pocket. Again, I don't keep much in here. Sometimes I'll keep a little clipboard in the past, throwback to before I went out on the Appalachian Trail. I used to keep a clipboard because I had all my videos scripted out for like weeks in advance. Like one day I just like scripted out all my videos. I'm crazy, I know. <laughs> so I used to keep a clipboard with all the scripts in there in this like, it has a little like back pocket that I think is meant for like a laptop or something, but I used to keep that in there. Um, I don't anymore because I don't have all those scripts to do that. Um, I keep my frog togs in here. And the reason why I'm using the frog togs instead of my Z packs is because my Z packs rain pants ripped again, not ripped, but like, you remember how when I was out on the AT, I was at Neil's Gap and I was talking about how the seam ripped. Um, yeah, they did it again on my replacement pair. So I just, I'm going with the frog tog pants and then instead of bringing my Z packs rain jacket out there, I just threw this on or threw that in my backpack as well. Uh, the frog togs rain suit. I still have the Z packs rain jacket and I like that rain jacket. Honestly, I probably should swap it out because that one has pit zips and this one does not, but it is what it is. And the only other thing that I have in this backpack is my little um, first aid repair kit thing that I brought with me out on the Appalachian Trail. So this is literally the same bag <laughs> with all the stuff from the Appalachian Trail. Like I still have like my Thermarest um, repair kit in there. I'm not bringing a sleeping pad out with me on the on the day hikes, but I just kept it all in here because, you know, it has all my first aid stuff in it and I figured it's easier just to bring it all than have to like go through every single time and figure out what I need. And that's what's in my day pack. I really keep it simple, y'all. I don't bring anything crazy with me, just the necessities. Obviously, if you're not filming, you don't need the cameras. You probably just need water, snacks, first aid, and then some rain gear. Um, I have in time, I have in the past brought an umbrella. If y'all saw my hiking in a thunderstorm video, the umbrella didn't work out too great because I didn't want to take it out because I didn't want to get struck by lightning. Um, and I know I had someone comment and be like, it's just a thunderstorm. If y'all see the lightning down here in South Florida, sometimes these storms are intense. Like, no, I'm not taking out my umbrella in a thunderstorm. So anywho, rain jacket, rain suit is what I bring with me. Obviously you could bring an umbrella if that suits you. Keep it simple, keep it light, nothing crazy. The only other thing that I would probably add to this day pack if you're like looking for additions to it is probably like a ball cap or something just to keep the sun off your face. There was sunscreen inside of the repair kit and first aid kit. But again, y'all just keep it simple. You don't have to have a lot. You don't have to buy the new gear. You don't have to get a North Face bag. Keep it simple, y'all. Day hikes are meant to be fun and easy and just get you out into nature. You don't have to have the nicest things. Well, that's it for what's in my day pack. I hope you all enjoyed this video, a simple short little video about what is in my bag. If y'all have any other requests about like beginner friendly hikes or various other hiking things, gear, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to accommodate. I am all into this hiking world, so don't count me out on that. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.